All right, hey guys, I'm Alex from the technoclass.com and this is the Soundfreak Soundkick. This is a powered Bluetooth speaker. So it's a battery powered Bluetooth speaker. You can also plug it in onto an outlet, but it you can it's a portable Bluetooth speaker with a built-in rechargeable battery. And it's um it's a rather unique uh design and uh, you can actually control it with an iPad, iPod, iTouch, iPhone. Uh, anything with Bluetooth um, technology. So this is a this is some sort of a instruction booklet thing, and um, these are some warranty stuff, I guess. A lot of little small little paperwork things, uh, cardboard, and um, let's start with this. Looks like a plug. You know what that is. Um, interestingly, the uh, the adapter. It's in gray, so I don't know. Haven't seen a gray adapter in a while. So this looks like the speaker here, and um, this looks like a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter jack for uh, typical audio aux if you don't want to go through Bluetooth. And inside the box, there's not any more stuff. So here should this should be the speaker itself. All right. So this is the Sound Freak Sound Kick, and it's not it's not huge but it's actually pretty cool looking and uh, this is the back here and I'll explain to you what this area looks uh, is supposed to do in a little bit but um, there's a um, nice uh, nice feet there's our feet here on the bottom there's these are some of the controls most of these are touch sensitive but this run right here is the power button and that is uh, that is one that you actually press so volume here, there's an equalizer thing here where it separates the audio a little bit, left and right. Uh, nice Sound Freak logo. Uh, play, pause and back and forward and uh, pair. This is because that's this is a Bluetooth device. There's a nice LED here. So give, I'll actually show you later. Um, so actually, if you want to turn this on, remember there's a battery inside here. If you want to turn this on, you have to tug on this thing here and pop the back out. So it's like a transformer kind of thing. So now, let's get the, the paper here out. So now it's, uh, it's, it's got an extended little back and you can stand it up like so. Um, it won't turn on without, if you don't press that uh, area right there. So actually right now I'm gonna turn it on and there you go, That's, as you can see the LED here. Both of the drivers are over here, left and right. And uh, I'm gonna try and pair it with my phone. All right, so we are now paired with the Sound Freak Sound Kick. So I'm gonna play some music here, and uh, I'm gonna actually show you something interesting uh, with the Sound Freak. So you can actually install for for you can install an app on your phone, Android and iOS, uh, a Sound Freak app, which you can use to control the Sound Freak web. I'm going, uh, this is over Bluetooth of course, and uh, as you can see I can turn the UQ3 on or UQ3 off. Yeah, uh, as you can see there's a, it's a very simple little app and I can fast forward, I can mute, I can change the source but obviously I'm just the only source so I shouldn't change it. Uh, I can increase the volume here and as you can see I'm at 21 up to 30. Now, um, while while the app isn't very um, very robust, at least you can control a lot of the aspects of your music player um, without needing to touch the device, uh, and you can change the volume here and there. Uh, you can also, of course, touch the device here. You can change the volume by pressing here, and the, the lights will change. Press fast forward here. Touch sensitive. And it's a, it's a pretty good implementation. Now I'm gonna, let me show you something around the back that is actually pretty nice. So, uh, the back here, uh, this is where you charge the, uh, you plug the adapter on and it charges the internal battery. The internal battery supposedly lasts up to nine hours. And uh, as you can see, there's a USB port here. If you have a USB cable, you can actually charge 
your uh, Android or iPhone uh, device via USB. So, um, which which is pretty good, especially since this has an internal battery. It'll keep your phone alive if you need it. Um, this is also your aux in, where this comes comes in. Uh, this is for devices that do not have Bluetooth or you do not want to use Bluetooth with, and you can you can put the aux in there just so you can listen to that without having to go through Bluetooth. Now the sound is actually pretty good. Um, Probably a little weak on the bass, uh, but not by much. I would say it's a little bit more flat. The audio response is a little bit more flat, but you don't you don't feel that bass kick. Uh, I guess it, it depends on you. But um, for a small little uh, for a small little battery powered Bluetooth one, it's uh, it's hard to complain. It's uh, it sounds pretty good and. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you want to try it on the aux. I mean, you you will get better audio without uh, if you don't go through Bluetooth. But since it's a it's been designed to use Bluetooth, I would probably prefer using it for Bluetooth. But yeah, it sounds pretty good. It's small. It's like it costs four nine ninety, and uh, you can even charge your phone while while using it. So there you go. That's a Sound Freak Sound Kick, and I like it. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex from thetechnoclass.com. Alright guys, thanks for watching and as always, if you like the video, please press the like button below. Add it to your favorites and or share it to your friends. If you got something to say, drop a comment in the comment box as well. Of course, more importantly, you should hit the subscribe button on top. This will keep you up to date with our new uploads and helps us out tremendously too. That's it guys, see you next video. The Big Time Show. Live YouTube tech discussions every Saturday.